Hey dear friends, how are you all doing? In this video, I'm going to tell you how to capture awesome images using your mobile phone's LED flash. Now, as you guys know, mobile phones come with LED flash. Some mobile phones have single LED flash, some comes with dual LED setup. Now, dual LED setup helps in capturing portrait images really nice because there will be one warm looking light and another one will be daylight. So that way it helps you capture really nice and accurate looking color skin tones of the portrait image that you are trying to capture. But then as you guys know, it isn't so powerful enough that it can give you some amazing results. So that's why in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually utilize this LED flash and take some really nice looking images, be it at the low light situations or even in indoor situations or say even at darker times, how you can actually use the LED flash and get some awesome results. So if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and do like this video if you find it helpful. All right then, without wasting any more time, let's begin with the video on how to capture awesome images using your mobile phone's LED flash. All right guys, as you can see, there's a beautiful plant over here and I will show you how you can take beautiful images of these leaves using the camera's flash. So let's take a look at it. So dear friends, as you can see, this is the camera setting. We are in pro mode right now and you have to set it to manual or autofocus, whichever does. Uh, if there is a very less light, you can always uh, increase the shutter speed, say it up to one by six seconds. Use this as a reference point and go to the autofocus and change it to manual so that it looks really sharp and tacked. As you can see, it's getting sharp and it will show me with highlight of green color. So peaking function will be on there. And once you do that, once you're confident of the sharpness here and just we will uh, keep the shutter speed to auto. And as you can see, flash turn is on and we are uh, using spot metering and I'll just click a picture now. Let's see how it shows. As you can see, the background is totally blurred and there is only exposure over the leaves here. If you want to bring a little bit more light over here, you change the metering to center weight, again use the manual focus, you can even use the manual uh, exposure time, that's the shutter speed, say about uh, 1 by 2000 seconds and then we'll click a picture and as you can see how beautiful the leaves have appeared now. So with tweaking of shutter speed as well as the metering system, you can get some really nice looking images of leaves or any object that you place. As you can see right now, uh, you cannot actually see what the subject behind is even though this is in daytime light. So that's how you tweak the shutter speed. Now it is at f2.4, 1 by 2000 of a second and if I just give a proper angle and take a picture and boom, there you go. Awesome looking images and it is uh, very very sharp as well so this is the kind of image that you'll be looking when you are using a pro mode so dear friends as you can see this is a flower pot there is a background we are in indoor situation indoor room here and as you can see it is a little bit on the darker side than you what you usually see in the daytime so this is a indoor environment with indoor lighting and as you can see there is a beautiful flower here now how you can use your uh, phone's flash and take some really nice images the first thing you want to do is to obviously go to the pro mode or manual mode but before that i would like to show you while you capture this in auto mode everything is set to auto now as you can see auto flash everything is set to auto if i just try to click a picture see it is already hunting because the, the distance is really close and let's say if i use tap to focus and then click a picture so this is the normal image normally if you use the proper angle and try to take some professional like picture with the auto setting this is how beautiful it gets but now i am going to show you how to use flash here and take some really awesome images now the first thing you want to change is to go to the pro mode pro mode or manual mode in other smartphones the next important thing to know is keep this shutter speed to auto not manual you don't have to keep the shutter speed to manual you have to keep the shutter speed to auto now the second thing here is to change the iso keep the iso to the minimum value now in case of note 9 the minimum value is 50 as you can see uh, just to keep it fair i'll use the iso 100 
so that it goes with other mobile as well and as uh, you can see this is the filter which is set to standard i did not change anything now important aspect here again to change is the manual focus now change auto to manual and then keep the number to the closest distance possible because we are capturing flower it is really important that you choose the focus to the minimum value that's the closest distance after that just look at this metering method this is also really important if you don't find this metering method in your camera user interface what you can do is you can find it in the camera settings so in situation like this capturing flowers always use the spot metering so after you have set the metering to spot as you can see this is set to spot metering the important thing that in this video we are considering is the flash so make sure the flash is turned on it is not set to auto it is forcibly turned on now now let's take a picture and see how it comes boom there you go this is a beautiful looking flower as you can see only the flower is lit and the rest of the thing is absolutely blackened this is how you can use the flash and take some really nice looking images and as you can see the exposure is set to minus 2 this is really really important if i set the exposure to plus 0 i'll show you what happens especially in flash photography i always recommend people to use the exposure value to the correct value as you can see there is a background wide there is shadow so all these distractive elements is clearly seen which we don't want we are just focusing on this flower and we want flower to be like this you can later edit it a little bit in snapseed or in default application and get some awesome looking shot of this flower itself so make sure you change the exposure value to minus one or minus two let's say this time i'll uh, change the aspect ratio and try to click a picture let's see how this comes now boom there you go again how awesome it comes there is no background lit there is nothing distractive here but only flower which is really awesome and let's move on to another scene tree and i'll show you how you can use the flash there so guys by default if we just uh, use this photo mode and use the auto flash uh, from the poco f1 there's actually a flower behind this camera here as you will see right now it's really pitch dark it's totally dark here so as you can see by default it has captured the image like this this is not so professional right you have to struggle around to make sure where it is properly focusing where it is uh, uh, properly hitting that light to give you these kind of images and as you can see there is a lot of distractive things going on here and of course the picture is sharp at uh, the subject but then this is not a professional like now i'll show you how you can take really cool images using the manual mode so switching to the manual mode the first thing you need to do is to turn on this torch mode here so if i just point out here there is on flash there is torch if you if your mobile doesn't have this torch function you can also use the turn on flash so that's how you can turn on the flash and as you can see you can also use this torch as a guide you can also download the torch app and use it as well let's try with a faster shutter speed that is 1 by 500 second 1 by 250 second let's click a picture and see how this turns out so boom as you can see it's getting darker and darker yet the subject is lit properly and it's very bright and sharp as well now let's increase the shutter speed even further and let's take a picture once again and see how it results so this is basically a trial and error method if you are very acquaintance to this you'll uh, quickly capture images without any struggle so this will be one by 500 seconds because there will be a lot of different situations you need to go through so you just have to try and see so as you can see there is a pitch dark over here and yet the subject is lit properly so this is how you take awesome images at pitch dark condition at night basically you can keep any subject here i just showed you as a flower flower as a subject so as you guys saw how led flash can give you some awesome results when tweaked a little bit inside your camera settings so that's how you can utilize and get some really nice looking shots so i hope this tutorial was helpful enough in giving you an insight on how to better utilize the led flash from your mobile phone and there are a lot of uh, tricks and uh, tweaks that you can do to get some really nice looking shots as well so if you want me to continue making these kind of videos hit that like button and do let me know in the comment section down below what videos would you like to see next on my channel all right then for latest updates on technology in detail hit that subscribe button and share with your friends so all right then see you all in another video till then take care everyone bye bye
Hey.